Hello guys and welcome to my new series, it's called Reliving Clarence Seydorf. So here we are, we've started off with obviously Seydorf's first team, which is Ajax. We've brought the badge and we're just buying these two kits now and we've just applied them like, whilst I've been off camera. So uh, now I'm going to go into the squad that I've got, like out of the bronze packs I brought and it's an alright squad didn't like it much but well I don't like it much should I say um but yeah there's, there's not really many positives about it if that makes any sense whatsoever uh, well Seedorf's a positive obviously but yeah so uh, I just put all the squad in and whatnot and just got through it quite quickly uh, I put Phillips in there at first thinking oh yeah I would do a job there and then I realised that I had this guy called G uh, Joseph who's a centre mid and he looks like a tank so I decided to put him in um, put Phillips left wing and put Joseph in there centre mid um, then up front we had the option of literally no one so we put this Australian guy in and he was no good so I decided oh I'll have a look at centre forwards and we found this Morgan and we stick him in instead of the Australian because Australians can't play football apart from Tim Cahill he's alright but anyway yeah this is the team and we're moving into a match now guys so just check if they've got all full fitness and whatever and here we go so the guys team name Corrientes FC um, there we are with our Ajax home kit and uh, let's see his team so in his team he's got two gold players um, and he's got one shiny bronze called Maurice but we start off here with Seedorf having a long shot uh, from about 25 yards and hitting the post and Seedorf the legend's been hacked down his legs have taken a battering over the years and on his free kick starts they are very good and now the power free kick into the post off the keeper's back I thought it was in but obviously it wasn't now some beautiful work here by the whole squad Joseph into Seedorf, Seedorf powers through and smashes it in the back of the net so great goal in the 72nd minute to get us started in the win and Seedorf there with another shot the keeper I meant to stop him from coming out halfway and Maurice just chipped him but here Loveridge breaks through and smashes it in the top corner it is a great finish for a bronze card Seedorf here tries a Ronaldo chop in the wrong place at the wrong time and Pavon is in Pavon shoots he hits the keeper Maurice Muscott but somehow he puts it over the bar but guys we come out of this with a 2-1 victory that means that we can buy three players at the end of this game which I'm going to do about now also because I played three games to get me as close to 10k as I could I um, I won the division so now we're in Division 9 and yeah, uh, here we look for um, Vermeer, the Ajax goalkeeper. There's either Selesen or Vermeer and Selesen, if you want me to guys get the high of, like, the better cards then I'll do that and I'll get Selesen team of the season but for now I'll just go for Vermeer. Um, and here I've got a little I've got a little like dilemma. I was thinking, do I get De Jong uh, the cam and play him in striker? Um because if you take a look take a look at his stats, he's got really good stats for a, uh to be a striker. Good at heading, a bit of pace, good good shooting he's just decent so I thought yeah why not picked him up in the centre forward and then whilst I was not recording I just decided oh yeah I need to buy De Jong a CF2ST card and that cost me 200 coins 
Now, the last signing of the episode because of the win, we decided to buy Bojan in a right midfield car, uh, in a right midfield position, just to help us out a bit on the wing, get a bit of pace in there and a bit of skill. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a